Hey guys, Belka Dude here, and I'm here today with my XSC scripting tutorials lesson 6. Today we'll be covering the wild battle scripts. So, yeah, let's go. So, search for a uh, offset. So, unfortunately, guys, this is either the second to last or last scripting tutorial ever. For me, at least. So, yeah, I'm sorry. Um, there's not really much more I can do. I mean, there's a couple harder commands that I can do, but they're kind of hard to explain. I will put the link to that website where I get all my, where I learned all my commands from in the description, and then you can learn stuff from there, because, and then you guys can request it from me, and then I'll, but really, there are no more commands I really think I can do. And my dog's attacking me. So, let's start with, we're gonna do... We're going to have a Lapras, the Sprite Lapras, and we're going to talk to it, and we're going to have to battle it, okay? So, let's start with the message box. Script at talk 10x6. Now we do wild battle. Ooh, Jonesy, that's my dog. Wild battle script. Pokemon species to battle. This is where we're going to have to go on the website and get the list of Pokemon. Scroll all the way down. I have it saved on a uh, notepad. Because um, in case if I don't have internet and I... Yeah. That's how I did uh, on my uploading haters. I just read off of this. So, I need to find Lapras. Well, I'm past it, obviously. Uh, there it is. Lapras 131. So, 131, change it to decimal, 131, change it to hex, 83. So, 0x, 83, level of the Pokemon, we're going to make it level 50. So, 50, 32, and item, um, let's give it an orange berry. My computer has been acting up lately. Uh, where's the berries? Well, let's give it, um, let's see. What should we give it? I don't know what to give it. Um, yeah, but you just add it here and change it to hex. I'm not going to give anything to zero, because zero. Okay. So, I'm also going to have a Pokemon to battle. So, give Pokemon. I'm going to get a Charizard, which is 0x6, I think. Level Pokemon. I'm going to do a level 50, so that's 32. 0x32. You don't have to put this because you, obviously you can have a Pokemon already. If you're going to do a wild battle script, but... Tutorial. So, now... Now we have to, um... To, uh, we have to set flag because we don't want them to reappear after when um, we battle them because they always go away. So set flag 0x, zero 0x1, zero it doesn't matter. And then uh, we're going to do a check flag up here, which is 0x1. And then if 0x, wait, if 0x1, go to at done. I'm just bringing back the concept of flags, if you can't tell. So now we're going to release it and end it. At done. Org. At done. Release. End. Now we're going to do the org at talk one. Org. At talk one. Open up this. Lapras. Lap. Oh, guys. Also, I want to suggest something to you. When you are um making a script for a game, use proper grammar. I'm s yeah. You just have to use use proper grammar. It's the right thing to do. Because yeah, just use proper grammar. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Uh, 
copy. Now let's open up advanced map. Well, open our ROM. Let's see. Desktop. Hacks. No, wrong one. Game. Hacks there. Hacks. ROM. No. Yeah, ROMs. Tutorial now. Woot. My dog is being annoying right now. So let's wait for it to load. I'm not going to skip it because as soon as I skip it, it'll load. So. It's pointless. There. From header, let's go down to three. Pallet Town. Go to events. Let's uh, let's use this girl right here. We have to change her, change her uh, picture. Let's go to 100 because I know it's past there. There. There's Lapras. Okay. So Lapras, we're gonna give her our script. name uh save also one thing we have to do so she will disappear um if you scroll down to where it says person id we get one because that's the flag we're gonna set zero x one so now we can test it in vba uh open um that was the weirdest Okay. It looks very distorted like this, but you know what? So, this, that was just the flags. Lapras, where are you? Don't tell me Lapras walks around. Lapras! And now we battle it! See, it's a Lapras, level 50. Go! Apparently, um, oh yeah, I put the Give Pokemon after. The, uh, I put the give Pokemon after the thing. Well, bleh. let me change that. We're going to have to put it into a new offset, but whatever. We have to change it, so. Give Pokemon. Control X. Backspace. Control V. Okay, now let's convert it. It's a different offset. You can't use the same offset. So now let's give her the right offset. Save it. Now let's battle. Okay. Oops. Okay, now it should work. Go Charizard. Okay, good, it worked. So let's get, let's uh, use a wing attack. But yeah, basically, I should be able to win. Ah. Ooh. Wing attack. I'm just gonna use wing attack for stuff. <laughs> I'm thinking like I'm playing competitive battling right here. Yay. Woot, I won. That was luck. And apparently... Yeah, see, I can't talk to him, but apparently it didn't want to disappear. That never works for me. If anybody can figure it out. So it's ID1, and in the script, I set flag... One. So, and when you set when you set a flag and you give the person the same idea as the flag, ID as the flag, it's supposed to make the person disappear. My question is, why did it just go all the way down here? I don't know, but yeah, that's my question. Why is that happening to me? Um, yeah. Why is he not disappearing? So yeah, this is either the last or second to last XZ scripting tutorial ever. Um, I'm sorry guys. It's been fun. I think I'm going to be moving on to advanced map tutorials with all these tabs and how to make good maps and events and stuff. 
five. So yeah. Um yeah, so that's probably gonna be my next tutorial. Um, so yeah, bugadoo with my last XC scripting tutorial or second to last. Thank you and goodbye.